Alright, prologue, a plea from the stars. Hey, everybody. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's Grunt Trump 1. Uh, last time on Paper Mario. Yes, I didn't say Super Paper Mario this time. Last time on Paper Mario, we saw a cutscene with Bowser and Kambi Koopa making out. No, I'm kidding. Um, but in this part, um, we're going to keep progressing to town. By the way, um, this hammer throw badge, I don't think I'm going to equip quite yet because I'd rather have Power Jump and Close Call instead. Um, but yeah. Alright. So, now we're back in Toad Town. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, the town is in uproar. The princess is kidnapped. It's a very, the very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Get it, highness, because she's up in space? <laughs> Alright, anyways, um, if you go down this pipe, this is just a little extra. Um, this is the pipe that leads to Mario's house. And Luigi's, as the case is. Maybe. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. He'd be surprised. Question mark? Speak of the devil! Not literally, of course. Whoa, 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 Mario, it's you, good to see you. And you're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was worried. I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Question mark? Dot dot dot. Question. Question mark? Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure. Adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? I uh, don't bother checking these bushes. There's nothing in them. Look, Mario has pipes on the side of his house. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, none of these bushes have anything in them, so don't bother checking them. However, there is something you can do in Mario's house. Um, you can see how many coins you've got, how many badges you've collected, and how many star pieces you've collected. There is a lot of star pieces. Like, I'm not going to be collecting all 160. Uh, it's just too difficult. Uh, we went to 15 battles. We got gotten 7 first strikes. None of the en Your enemies can also get first strikes. Uh, there's also three question mark things. Um, I'm, on I'm not going to spoil what they are. If you come over here, Mario can... Um, even though we're at peak strength. Like, um... It'll he it's like a uh, question mark block, basically. That's what basically all uh, hotels are like. Uh, to uh, I forgot what the toad houses. Uh, toad. It's basically a toad house or a uh, heart block. Um, um, Mario will also get letters in there sometimes. Cause it's empty right now. So a couple cool things you can do. Cool things you can do in the Mario house. Okay, so, uh, uh, a star piece over there that you can't get for a long, long time, um, what you're gonna wanna do next is your, um, by the way, there's an item shop here, where if you are picking up coins along the way, you can buy some items here. You can buy mushroom, you can buy a honey syrup, fire flower, um, we've all, we've seen all those before, uh, power block we haven't seen, flip shell enemies, we haven't seen any shell enemies yet, we'll get into those in the, uh, next chapter, um, and does two damage points to all ground enemies, uh, flying enemies it won't do anything to, it also do, it also it'll affect ceiling enemies, although we haven't seen any of those either, uh, sleepy sheep, which I hate, I don't use them, and fright jar, I don't use those either, I usually don't, uh, use a lot of, alright, so, um, if you want to buy something, just stand in front of it and press A. I think I'm going to buy a honey syrup. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to come over here. Actually, a little secret. If you come back here, um, underground news, you can see, um, um, uh, gossip, basically. Um, on the back of the board. On the front of the board, it's news 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 all right uh you're gonna want to come over to where princess peach's castle used to be that's where all the destruction is by the way and you're gonna want to come over to the right 
And you see over here. Um, you, there's two ways you can go. You can go over there. Looking for something? Drop by my lovely's place. Uh, I'm gonna be going there on the way back from Shooting Star Summit. Uh, yeah. But for now, we're gonna go over here. And sorry, I might be turning the camera a little bit here. I'm not. Um, before going up, you're gonna wanna come over here. And you can find a star piece. Very, very nice. Like I said, you're gonna want at least ten of those. Well, I'm gonna want at least ten of those. If you're doing a let's play on this game like I am, or a walkthrough, or whatever, you're definitely gonna want the badge that I'm gonna get. I'm kinda spoiled what the stars pieces do, but whatever. Um, we're gonna be finding it on the way back from here anyways. Uh, and you can see, uh, this guy's name is Eldstar, by the way. Welcome, Mario! We've been waiting for you! Who's we? Oh, all them. We are the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from a home in Star Haven, a place with high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. Um, these guys... I can't decide if I'm going to say something or not, because it's somewhat of a spoiler. Eh, it's not too big a spoiler. Um, the order that you talk to these guys, I noticed this, like, the last time I played this game, is the order that you save them in. So, you save this guy first. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star World, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. This one's the guy, the person you save second, but you get it, you get it though. The Star Rod, it's powerful beyond belief. It can, it can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes. Like, for instance, I'd like to return Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star World so he could grant his own wishes. Apparently, all these guys have British accents now. He seems co content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he may wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It's the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star World safe and use it properly. We must get the Star World back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly. Right now, you're not strong enough to challenge Bowser. Well, obviously, we're only at level 2! We, he has made himself all-powerful by, by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is, too, he is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited with star, in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas... We are nearly exhausted our power talking to you. I thought that guy's mustache with his mouth went the first time I saw him. It's weird. Weird. And although it looks like what they're beside you, it's only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and be are being held by Bowser's followers in the different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. Well, duh. In order to take back the Star World from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope, and we will... Fade away? In the middle of a sense? Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Alright, we're going to save and continue since we're only 8 minutes into the video and no action. Not a lot of action so far. And we see Peach in here. Sniffle. No, Sniffle. Sni Mario's probably hurt. No, I'm kidding. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Well, so far, it's in Bedlam, according to that toad that uh, we saw coming into Toad Town. <coughs> Excuse me. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Exclamation point. Oh, that's not who we wanted to help her. Wow, my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. 
You know, the power that grants everyone's wishes, it's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Speak to me or with that triangle of a mouth of yours. <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. I like how Bowser's actually like the upbeat person and Kami Koopa's like the um, one that's trying to make her all depressed again. Oh, delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, all of the grand requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess, and you better not cause any trouble. Blah. This is by far my favorite Paper Mario of the series. I gotta say. Oh, please, if somebody could help me. Despite the graphics, of course, but being a cult Paper Mario, you can't expect great graphics even for the N64. Huh? Knock, knock. Knock knock. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. And I'm chewing something. Or that's my nose and I'm flaring my nostrils. Oh my god. I just realized that does kind of look like a nose flaring its nostrils. If its mouth didn't open and close when it talks. But you're. You're a Starkin, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. Oh, and I forgot to make the joke about her opening the window. <gasps> Nowhere! I forgot to make that joke. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Sorry, I had to make a quick cut there. I decided to get a drink, you know, eat a cookie. It's a good thing I cut when I did because someone uh, came to the door when I stopped. But anyways, oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, great, my remote just connected. Okay, we're back online. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star ride back from Bowser, okay? Okay, nosy. Think you can do it? Oh, now we know it's a mouth. Unless, uh, he changes his facial expressions by changing the shape of his nose. Uh, sorry, that's a little much for a star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, like a small star can do. Aww. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have, and I have to save all, them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, can't grant, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. I just noticed his mouth doesn't move when he's talking. So it could very well be a nose. That's alright, Twink. It's alright, don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. No, we care more about saving the Star Spirits than saving you. No caring. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Okay, now his mouth's moving. This is a lucky star, isn't it? But it actually doesn't move, it's just moving because he's moving. Okay, I'll do it. Prince actually, his mouth isn't moving, his body's moving. Okay, I'll do it. Princess Peach, I'll take... I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink! Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course! Okay, now his mouth's moving again. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? No, don't do it! Oh, wait, yeah. She's paper, she can breathe. She, I mean, she doesn't have to breathe. Mario, where are you? On Earth. Duh. You think I can just come and save you instantaneously when you're in space? Okay, I said we were gonna go here on the way back. But I think I've changed my mind. I think I'm gonna... Uh, uh, wait until then. Well. You know what? What the hell? I'll, I'll go. Uh... Okay. Oh, excuse me. Alright, anyways, um, this person, I think what she does is she tells you where, like, missing star pieces are, I think. I'm not 100% sure. The guy upstairs is what I really like to do, though. So, uh, this guy. 
This is why you want star pieces. I'm the fan of Smirlo, shooting star stomach. I collect star pieces. I I said shooting star stomach again. I think I'm just gonna start calling it shooting star stomach. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, do you have any star pieces? Um, if you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Okay. So I've got four right now. The reason why I want ten. Okay, I think I might actually want quite a few actually because well, I want feeling fine, so that's five. This is the one that I want to get next. Peekaboo. Um, because it makes it possible to hear enemies HP without Goombario wasting a turn. So uh feeling fine prevents po Mario from poisoning and dizzy dizziness. Um Zad Tap makes it so that Mario um most attacks so that most so that when enemies attack directly, they'll take damage. Like one damage. And uh there's really nothing else I really find necessary in here. Uh just those three. Pretty lucky would be okay, but I'm pretty sure you can get it elsewhere, so we're gonna wanna get a total of twenty five as soon as possible. Except we're going for peekaboo first, so the first thing we wanna get is ten. And then I think I'm gonna go for uh feeling fine next. Uh, is there anything over here? No, I didn't think so. I actually, there's gotta be some sort of secret back here, but I don't think I know it. Or something that, or something that is a secret, but it's just not a power-up we have yet to do it. Alright, so now we want to come over here, and this is finally where those battles stop being so slow. Ouch! Was that Mario who said that? Oh my god, the silent protagonist talked. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry, I'm in a huge hurry. Three lines. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? That's actually the only time those three lines are used in the game, I believe. I don't remember them being used elsewhere. You're Mario, aren't you? Thank, you? thank the stars I found you. So thank yourself. Yay, yay, happiness. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. Finally, these battles are going to be stopped being so slow. A star-shaped pendant lets you use the action command. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now, it's yours. You can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? I'm going to let you explain it, because last time I someone asked that, and I didn't do it, I forgot to do it. So, Which is the badge thing, by the way. So I'm going to let Twink explain it. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you, behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Goombario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. Battle music, battle music, battle music, sorry. First, Mario, choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. I want a hammer! Okay, fine. Okay. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Leave time frozen. No, I'm kidding. Um, so you want to press A exactly before you hit the enemy, and then you'll be able to attack twice. And that makes these um stop going so incredibly slow. When you see a nice appear, that means you successfully successfully use the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, this time Goombar, you try to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. Right now, press A just before the attack strikes you. And this and now you can defend. You don't have to take damage every single hit. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you received by one HP. One damage, I mean, whatever. Often you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking the, by hammer. Now with the hammer, I find this action command way easier to do. You might find me failing at this once or twice throughout the entire game. I uh, want you to choose an uh, tilt the control stick to the left. Move the control stick. And keep holding it to the left until the star lights up. As soon as the star flashes, you let go. And that's nice to do with enemies with defense. Because, um... With, um... The jump, it goes 1-1. One, one. With the hammer, it goes 2. So if they have 1 defense, it won't do anything to jump. But with the hammer, it'll do 1 damage. Alright, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Um... No, I don't need any more practice. I like how Twink's like, angry face. Alright. That's basically the gist of the action command. Terrific, you're much better, you're be much better in battle now. Here you are! What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. 
If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kelly Koopa, but she'll show me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. No. To be completely honest, I'm not sure whether to give this guy a boss description or an enemy description. I'll have to decide later. But, uh... Let's have Goombario tattle him, first of all. This is Magikoopa. Magikoopa's use magical rods. Max is 8. Uh... Alright. Uh... I'm gonna put it as a boss description for now, I guess. Alright, now what you want to do first of all... Um, your power jump also can use an action command. I think I'll just display that right now. Except I won't jump twice, it'll just do one extra damage. On like a regular jump. And there, that's the timing for defense. On his attack. Uh, so now... This should just take two more hits with the action command now. And... Goombario has the same action command as Mario's jump. Tattle doesn't have an action command though. Just thought I'd mention that. Alright, so a good 15 star points right there. So much for getting a race. Strong as they say, you'll be able to defeat Bowser eventually. Return to Princess Peach's side. Not strong enough to help her, but I can at least tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Wait, didn't, Prin didn't Peach have a message for us too? Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Then go back to her side. You can help her. I'll do my best to the both. Well, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Sorry, I just had to take a quick drink there. I'm recording two episodes in a row, so there he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Um. Okay, I think we're reaching around 20 minutes. So, I think we're going to end off this part. Um, oh, Mario. Merlin, what's looking for you? He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look, but for you, I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call someone over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Uh... I think I'm gonna end off this part, okay? So, don't forget, comment, rate, don't say subscribe. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next part. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna end off the video because I just wanna make this video like five minutes longer so that I can end off the prologue. Uh, or else, <laughs> never mind, it'll just get confusing. Um, I just took a rest in the toad house, I thought I'd just let you know. Um, so here's the house of the spinning roof. Merlin is out! Then who said that? Why do you keep knocking? I keep telling you he's out! Aw, oh, nice. What the... Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Voice crack. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. Well, when he's lying down, you can't recognize him, apparently. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Well, I guess Merlin wasn't out. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. <gasps> OMG! Did you go to Hogwarts? When I was reading the other- When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and concerns you! But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was the it was in the old days. One of my ancestors was on Shooting Star Summit. S summit. Not stomach. Summit. But one day as usual. But it happened suddenly, girl appeared, and I started standing face to face. Then the far away, Pidgeous was writing up. I was still in our something, and then so... Dot, 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 dot. Hey, he's, he's telling the story in Morse, Morse, Morse code now. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario! Were you listening to me? That's kind of the joke. Whenever these guys are talking, they always tell- Like, um, people are related to Merlin. Uh, they always talk for a long time and Mario falls asleep. That's basically the joke of the Paper Mario series. Oh, yes. I was listening. Oh, alright. So, anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. Help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal- must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as and humanely as possible, but according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Koopa Brothers. 
To reach the Cooper Brothers Fortress, head east to the road in front of the Toad House. Okay. Now, let's... Okay. Alright, let's talk to... Whoa! Let me through. Okay, let's talk to this guy. See what's up. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. But Merlin told us to. Going to Cooper Brothers Fortress would be a mistake. Who said anything about Cooper Brothers Fortress? Definitely, definitely don't go. Most, most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Well, gee, that doesn't tell us what to do at all. Alright, let's go talk to Merlin again. Um, don't talk to him on this side, though. Talk to him on this side. If you want to talk to him, talk on this side. If you want your future predicted, go to this side. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Wow, Merlin came out of his house. Let's talk to Merlin. Are these the strange toads you were talking about? No, it's the other toads on the east side of Toad Town. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. Hmm, you aren't toads, are you? Yeah, your the spaces between your darts aren't what dots aren't white, they're black. I'm being racist. No I'm kidding. I'm not racist. I'm not a racist person. Hmm, you aren't toads, are you? Um, no, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, who gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute ordinary toads hanging out. <sighs> Has anyone ever noticed that toads wear diapers? It's kind of a weird topic to bring up, but it's true. Toads wear diapers. Rally are your true selves. Whoa. Arg! Just as I thought, you're the Cooper Brothers. How how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Cooper Brothers. You must pursue them to to their hideout, the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Cooper Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. That's very important. You better remember that. This is, this, this is a strange portent. And in Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Alright. Um, going to the right starts Chapter 1. But I'm going to wait to start Chapter 1. Because, well, I think we should wait. <laughs> um, so, hit the save block. No, I don't want to save. Alright, I will see you guys in the next part. This is the real ending, okay? Alright, I will, like I said, I'll see you guys in the next part. See ya!